Y'all, I'm over here like the math the math is not mathing. Like I'm trying to figure out how my grandmother like my grandfather passed away when I was like not even two my it was before my sister was born, so yeah, I was not I wasn't even two years old. So I don't remember him at on on my mom's side. And um my my I I still don't I still don't have like the story or the the what's the word for it like the 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 I'm so tired y'all then the knowing or like the yeah that guess is the story of like why because I used to spend like lots of time with my grandmother and she lived in Mount Dora like near Orlando um I even remember flying out to meet her one uh, one time too. Um and I was I mean I think I was young. I know I was young, but I don't know. I know I was young cuz she passed away when I was still young, but like um my mom had we were all young at the same time, so I think it had something to do with that, but it's like I never got cuz that's why I had that a, a very close relationship with her and she taught me so many things. Um and she would like, there was a couple of times I remember her like singing at to me at night and she would like tickle like my skin. It was just like this very gentle, loving, and I still love that feeling. It's like, anyway, and she cuddled with me a couple of times and it was like, I just remember that though, that and all the things that she taught me being like so and grandparents are different than your parents too, but like it was so vastly different from like how my mom was and even her sisters. And I'm like, like that's what I mean. Like the math is not mathing. Like I don't understand what happened. And then it came to me that my mom was like really obsessed with that show Mad Men for a while when I when I was. I don't know if I was in college or I just remember being at home and seeing she was watching it and she was talking about how it reminded her of her parents and that generation and some different things. And I remember even then it like, it creeped me out because it was like, not that, the, not that there's something wrong with the fifties or like, but like there was so much that was highlighted about how abusive the men were and how they, they would like just, it was normalized that they cheated on their wives and everything, all this stuff. And I just remember being like, why, why is it? it was, I mean, it's, it was, anyway, a lot of people, it was very popular, but like, that's, that's something that came to me of like, I don't, I didn't know my grandfather, but I mean, it's, I do feel like it's true that saying like, you can't change men. I mean, I kind of think that's all of us though. It's like a lot of women change for their kids. So there is that, that, that seems to happen because you're more or less are forced to, but it just, it's that there's so much that kicks in instinctually and like you want to nurture and protect them and stuff like that. But, um, cause there's that too, that I remember, I'm like, I remember growing up my mom, there was a lot there was a lot of like emotional disconnect, but there was a lot of like loyalty that both that well not not so much my dad, but like my mom was um she was the one who took us took us everywhere and always showed up to pick us up from school. Like we never rode the bus and she had three kids. When we eventually we all went to the same school, but like before that and then my brother drove us when he was old enough, but like before that and even then she she showed up every single day and took us where we needed to go and like she would bring us lunch sometimes and um just she was very like she was very loyal in that way i guess as and like but i just anyway 
I remember there being like an emotional disconnect because I remember she would like when we were drunk, she we were driving, she'd just be like spaced out, which I kind of do that sometimes too. But like, and I remember I don't remember her playing with us that much, and I remember. When we would go, she would take us out to eat, but it was like, she just seemed like somewhere else. Like she was somewhere else. But then I do remember, you know, her being like playful and stuff like that too when we were little. So I think, I'm sure it had something to do with the fact that she and my dad fell apart and, um... But that's, I think a lot of things changed after they got divorced because I think that, I think that was something else that came to me is it's like, I feel like things like jealousy and greed, like it takes time for those things to kind of take over you. And when you don't have kids, when your kids are gone and if you, you don't have a par partner and like for my mom, it's like her garden is her baby and um, her job, like she's a hundred percent, fifty percent a workaholic and stuff. So, um, and then you know, like the anyway, all the fancy things, and then how many, and then you become attached, and then you have to keep working to maintain it, I guess. But um, I just think about my grandmother was just so like full of life. Like she was just so cool. And like she did, she was just, she was pamp, she pampered herself. Like I just got such a different like outlook of women. And I'm, I feel very grateful and blessed that I like, I encountered different women in different aspects that were just like go getters and like didn't take no for an answer. And like, um, persevered through like, you know, the hardships that they had to deal with and stuff. Um, because it's like, we don't, without examples, without experiencing it, it's like, you don't know that it's, you don't know. So, um, Yeah, like my grandmother would like do, and she didn't have, she didn't have, but that's my point. It's like she didn't have kids anymore and she had, a, they had a family business because I remember we would go to her office and she had other people like working for her, but it was like, she did yoga and she made her little fruit bowl in the mornings and, um, she had a little herb garden outside and, she had, a, there was a lot of pride and I know that that was like, she, when she got sick, she didn't want anyone to know. And I do think that was ultimately the downfall, but that's a note that I need to remember too, because that's another thing that gets us when you're like, after doing things on your own for a long time, it's hard not to be prideful because you're like, well, I've only had me. So, um, but Oh, she had a sauna too. <laughs> um, I'm just like, what, what happened? And I'm like, but then I'm like, it must, there has to be this, like the, there has to be this like power that, and I'm trying to think of the right words that like the man has in a, in a household that affects the children in like, a profound way because that was the same. It was the same for me because, or I'm not same, but different because I don't know. It, I don't know. I remember my mom telling me some stories about things she did with her dad, but I remember also hearing some things about there being some abuse and I don't, she didn't, she didn't, I haven't heard anything about, I'd never heard anything about her, about her like there being issues, um, between my grandparents but I don't have all the stories and that's where I'm like, my curiosity is peaked now because I'm like, how does this happen? And like, cause I'm like, I guess God was the, like my grandmother showing me affection in like this other way. And then also like 
when I was going through so much, you know, I didn't have a man to lean on. Like when I was going through so much as a single parent and then like I did lean on my parents and then that, that had to, I had to learn a lot of hard lessons through that too. That is like, this isn't safe either. So, um, but it's, and it's been a really crazy difficult road because of all that. But at the same time, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the healing and all of these things, but it's like, it's just such a, such crazy stuff because when you're like before, especially when I like first moved home, even though I was like broken up with John and stuff, I was like taking on work and I was like doing my, doing the thing and like taking care. Like, I mean, I wasn't like, I wasn't exhausted sometimes or that I wasn't, but I mean, I would cook dinner for us. Like I went to live with my dad, I was cooking dinner for us and just like handling things. And it wasn't like, but then since he, my healing, it's been, there's just been so much and just realizing so much about I don't know. I know it's just perspective because it's like, it's not like just because you're vulnerable or just because you have, you see something, a pattern that you don't like or something that that makes you weak, but it's just, because I do feel like in a lot of ways I'm stronger now, but it's like, I've, there's days like this where I'm like, I don't get, I'm, it's just so different. I used to be able to just take things on like it was nothing and like, that now I'm like, I wake up and I don't have enough energy and I'm like, I have to do these different things. And then I'm like crying and I'm like at, talking to God. And I'm like, I don't know how I did things in my life before without him. And it's just, we, it's just, it's just, it's not that I feel like weaker. It's just that you, you right you have to you're be forced to face the resistance of your, of like your shadow, like whatever it is, whatever it is that you're having to move through. And it's so much more emotional and it's so, you just realize how fragile we are. It's like, there's just so much more fragility that you're having to like face and accept. And, and also in within myself of like, I'm not just invincible. Like, I think that's how it felt before because that's what the ego makes you think it's crazy, but it's like your body follows too. I mean, I've, that's probably been part of it is that my body's like had, has been breaking down because it's like it's, it, I was put, I was running on empty so many times and pushing my body so hard teaching and, um, just not taking care of myself for sure. I mean, I've always had some discipline and like eating healthy and stuff, but I was like definitely like burning both ends of the candle like day after day. Anyway, I was not trying to get on the side tangent and I'm just collecting my thoughts because now I'm like, how do I find out about my aunt, my my family's ancestry line? Um, oh, oh, because I was like, oh I gotta wrap this up. I was like, there must be something about that with the women because my grand, my great grandmother was the same. Was very well. She was. She had a lot of men, but like, she, aside from that, she was very, very independent. She was like, she ran her own show. She ran, she ran her own life and stuff. And that's how my grandmother was. But, and my mom is too, but it's a manipulative kind of way where it's like, she finds people and uses them and, um, she gets, she pulls people in to like, to like, side with her and stuff like that. I, I, I don't want to get into all of that, but it's just, it's very, very different. It's not like it's just her like doing things on her own. Um, and she's hella been hella successful. So it's not like, um, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to me. Cause I'm like, that there must be something there with like the men in the in the family line and then it's like there being abusive behavior and how much it affects hold on baby how much it affects the kids because that ends up being the patterns that they that they take on so i don't cuz i don't i never met i met i knew my great grandmother which was my mima's mom but i never met she had multiple husbands. So I don't, I don't, I never met any of them or her or whoever my, my, whoever my grandmother's dad was. Um, 
but it's like they had a different like outlook of like the woman has to I don't know man it's just I don't know I'm just like fat I don't know why it's fascinating me because I'm like although I don't think it's right to just allow men to be be in the house be you know go and cheat and be abusive like that's not cool but at the same time it's like how do how are the women so like strong and powerful and then like the next generation became like this narcissistic abusive manipulative like type of like that's what we're now now we're trying to like counter that and um and now we're like doing this like everyone's riding solo to heal and everything is like <laughs> well, I guess we're just going back to simplicity because it's like you just can't you can't take it all on. You can only do so much as a single person. But um, it's just very in- it's very interesting to me. Um, I mean, it's sad too. But I mean, you have. That's why it's like you. Got, either way, you have to want to change and heal and all of that stuff because. I mean, all that, like, I remember, I, like, da- there was a lot of that, even, I don't know, I don't know when I was really, really little, I don't, I feel like it was different then, but, like, I remember, like, going on trips with my, our family, and it was, like, like, my, and my, one of, both of my cousins, like, they married these very wealthy men that, like, were, but they were they were abusive, like, and they didn't end up being divorced, but it was like, we would go to these places that were just like extravagant. And like my one cousin who his first marriage, like was, was, and I was at a vineyard in California, like during the sunset. And it was just like, like mind blowingly beautiful. And, um, it's hard not to get addicted to that stuff. It's like, it's like great Gatsby, like that, that like, you know, everything looks beautiful and, and fancy and aesthetically pleasing and, you know, everybody's having a good time, but it's like, okay, are they really having a good time or is everyone really hopped up on Coke because that's how they, how they stay productive? You know, I don't know, but it's like, that was like the, somewhere along the line, that's where the shift happened and it's like, It's like that just like destroys you. It just like it turns you into something that's not even human. Okay. I don't want to keep dragging this out because I'm my 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 freaking energy is low AF, but um I do find this stuff really fascinating and I hope that more more couples come conscious couples come together so that we can help heal these family lines because I know that my my guy at least needs more masculine role models in his life if not if not um if I don't ever have a partner it's like he needs that in his life but we do the best we can all right I love you guys